I was inspired by the level of projects that they're doing as high school students. Just very impressed. It's the sort of thing you expect to see graduate students doing and to see a high school student doing that. And the years that they put into these projects and the amount of dedication that they put into it is very impressive. When the wheel can spin freely, like it's on the ground, it just rotates and it can roll nice and flat. But as soon as one of the wheel gets locked, then all the gears lock and it flips, which allows it to climb stairs. The level of enthusiasm is incredible. Uh, I mean, they have done a lot of hard work to get to this level, and they want to do their best. It's a very, very, very tough competition, not just for the students, but for the judges as well. Emergency call 401. In the summer, I often hear reports of children mistakenly being left behind in cars. The heat uh, builds up in the car. The child eventually dies of hyperthermia, overexposure to heat. So I thought, you know, I could do something about this to uh, kind of prevent this problem from happening. So this is my invention. It's called the cocoon, and it's designed to combat this problem. This is intended to simulate the weight of a baby, because there's a weight sensor in the seat, so the, um, the functionality won't start working unless there's a weight inside here. Now I have two temperature switches right here. One that goes off at 85 degrees, and one that goes off at 95 degrees. So we have four things going on here. There's a strobe light, the LED scrolling emergency message that has the uh, cell phone number of the parents of the child, a cell phone that automatically calls the, uh, the cell phone of the parents, and a vocal and audio alert. Now if it reaches 95 degrees in the car, but the baby still has not been uh, rescued, two more things happen. We have the lighting, which I'll explain in a moment, and the thermoelectric cooling module. And the fan is distributing the cold air towards the child. And the hot air is uh, being blown away from the child. And the reason why I have lighting here is because, well, as you can see, this is kind of a prototype. So um, my final vision for the, the cocoon is that it'll be kind of an enclosed space with a, hatch, a clear hatch that will close at 95 degrees. So the baby will be visible from outside with the lighting on its face, but it'll still be uh, a little bit uh, protected from the environment, a little bit isolated by the hatch.